Hello, this is Eric White. In the screencast, I am going to walk through an interesting new commandlet that has been introduced in version 2.2 of OpenXML Power Tools, and that is the commandlet merge OpenXML document comment. Microsoft Office has a feature where you can lock a document except for allowing comments to be added to that document. This would be useful, for instance, if you have a programming interface specification and you want to pass this specification around to a number of developers and have all of the developers comment on the specification. You don't really want them to be changing the document. You just want them to put their comments in there. But this then proves to be a bit of a problem for the person who is in charge of integrating all of those comments into a single document and then producing a new document that reflects all of those comments. One approach that you can take is to merge all those comments into a single document. And that's what this particular commandlet can do for you. In addition to providing this functionality, this particular commandlet is another example of using the type of intermediate transform that is useful in, for instance, searching and replacing text, which is that this commandlet works by first splitting all runs up into multiple runs of a single character. It then can go through all of the documents merge the comments into a single document, and then it can coalesce adjacent runs that have identical formatting back into a single run and produce a new document that has the markup that we desire. So let's walk through the process. Here we have an interesting programming interface specification. First thing to do is to lock this document except for allowing for comments. So I'll click on the Developer tab, click Restrict Editing. I'll select Allow Only this type of editing in the document, and I'll allow only comments, and I'll start enforcing protection. The commandlet doesn't care whether you enter a password here or not, but I'll enter the password of Password. Save the document and close it. Now I'll copy and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. And this one I am going to send to Bob. This one I am going to send to Jill. This one I am going to send to Frank. And this one to Susan. Okay, let's go over here and let's add a comment from Bob. Here's a comment from Frank, and another comment from Frank. Jill has a longer comment. Susan has a meta comment at the very beginning. Let's get help on merge OpenXML document comment so that we can see the arguments that we need to use. Before I merge all of those comments into a single document, I'm going to modify test01-bob.docx. I am going to change the comments part. Because I don't have another user on this computer, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to change this to Bob McClellan, and I'll change the initials to BM, save that, and close it. This is just a little 
hacked so that we can see that the identity of comments are preserved in the merging process. If we open up that testo1-bob.docx, we can see that the comment has been changed so that it indicates that this is comment BM1 by Bob McClellan. Now let's merge the comments into a single document. Here is the command, merge OpenXML document comment star.docx dash output path output slash merged comments dot docx. There is the document with merged comments. Let's open it. And we can see that all of the comments have been merged into a single document. Let's take a super quick look at the merge OpenXML document comment commandlet.cs module. We can see here that it calls comment merger dot merge comments. Actually, what's interesting, comment merger dot merge comments doesn't merge multiple documents. It only merges two documents and produces one new document, but it's easy enough to call comment merger dot merge comments multiple times and it will then produce a new document with all of the comments from all of the documents that you are merging. Let's take a look at comment merger dot merge comments. Here are the two public methods in comment merger dot merge comments. One of the methods takes two WML document objects and produces a new WML document object and it passes true as the third argument to this second overload of merge comments. The second overload has a third argument that indicates ensure locked. If ensure locked were set to false then it doesn't actually require that the documents be locked. However, the most common scenario is that you'll want to create a document, you'll want to lock it, and then you'll send it to all of the reviewers of that document and then you'll get them back and if one of the documents was unlocked in that process it's undefined what comment merger will do if the contents are not the same in two documents that it is attempting to merge comments it actually makes a pretty good attempt to validate that the documents contain the same content that's all I am going to cover in this screencast. Talk to you next time.